course, there's a huge semi-aquatic mammals that live in the Arctic Circle of our planet. And when you look at one of them, the first thing you probably notice are these weird tusks. But what are they for? Horse tusks are simply the upper canines of the animal, though evolution has shaped them in a slightly unusual way. They can reach up to an astonishing number of 76 centimeters in length. When it comes to their composition, they are made of dentin, a mineral that makes them very hard and resistant. They are similar to elephant tusks though it's different enough to be told apart after some minor analysis. Babies are born tuskless, but both male and female walruses will eventually have them. Okay, but how do walruses use their tusks? First, to get out of the water. Distantly related to seals, walruses are semi-aquatic mammals, which means that they spend a lot of time in the water, mainly for feeding on fish. And when it's time to get out, they use their tusks to help them, since those flippers aren't that useful on land as they are in the water where they can reach up to 7 km per hour of 3 meter speed. Second, to break the ice, as mammals, horses have lungs, so they have to breathe air. They can be underwater for up to 10 minutes, and when it's time to go up and again, they might also use their tusks to open up holes in the ice and breathe. This is pretty useful as horses spend around two thirds of their lives in the water. Third, yes, horses do use their tusks as a weapon, but it's not that common. See. As a weapon, the tusks have two main uses. Male walruses use them to fight for dominance over groups of females. They'll often begin with showing off their tusks, and if that doesn't scare away potential contestants, they'll fight. Walruses have pretty thick layers of fat, so most times wounds aren't fatal. Apart from fighting each other, tusks come in handy in the ecosystem of the biggest living land cannibal, the polar bear. Although bears tend to avoid walruses due to their size and their strength, a hungry polar bear will try to hunt down the weakest walruses, but it's not easy at all since, again, the thick fat of the walrus isn't easy to piss off even for a polar bear. Don't forget to leave a like, it's very helpful to me, and just think of these animals that do not have opposite thumbs to do so. Thanks for watching, and have an elephantastic day.